Picture this, it's a sultry summer evening, cicadas singing their evening serenade, and the air is thick with anticipation. You settle into your favorite armchair, the flickering glow of the television casting a warm, inviting light across the room. As the opening credits roll, you find yourself transported to a world of mystery, intrigue, and forbidden desires. This is your first encounter with the 1959 cinematic masterpiece. Suddenly, last summer, a movie's title alone hints at the secrets it holds, promising a journey into the depths of human psychology and the dark corners of the human soul. And as the plot unfolds, you can't help but be drawn into the web of suspense, passion, and scandal that engulfs the characters. Perhaps it's the unforgettable performances of Hollywood legends like Elizabeth Taylor and Katharine Hepburn that etch this movie into your memory. Or maybe it's the haunting imagery of a lush, overgrown garden where secrets are buried as deep as the vines that twist and coil around the ancient stone statues. But beyond the mesmerizing narrative and stellar cast, suddenly, last summer is also a treasure trove of fascinating facts and trivia. From the challenges faced during its production to the enduring impact it had on cinema, there's a whole world of intriguing details waiting to be uncovered. So, whether you're revisiting this classic film or experiencing it for the first time, get ready to dive into the enigmatic world of suddenly, last summer and let it captivate your imagination once again. And who knows, you might just discover something new that adds another layer to your appreciation of this cinematic gem. It's time to peel back the layers and explore the hidden depths of a movie that has stood the test of time. Suddenly, last summer, a 1959 film adaptation of Tennessee Williams' one-act play is a gripping and controversial drama directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz. The story revolves around the mysterious death of wealthy Sebastian Venable in a foreign country, and the ensuing efforts to silence his traumatized cousin Catherine Holly, played brilliantly by Elizabeth Taylor. The film is notable for its intense themes of sexuality, mental illness, and societal hypocrisy, all explored through William's signature Southern Gothic style. The characters in Suddenly, Last Summer are both iconic and deeply flawed. Taylor's portrayal of Catherine is haunting, capturing the anguish of a woman who witnessed a traumatic event and is being institutionalized to keep her quiet. Catherine Hepburn, as Sebastian's domineering mother, delivers a powerhouse performance, embodying the elitist, manipulative matriarch Violet Venable. And Montgomery Clift, playing Dr. Kukrovich, brings a sense of moral ambiguity as he navigates the twisted world of the Venable family. The film's unique style is characterized by its evocative cinematography, which blends lush visuals with disturbing imagery, creating an atmosphere of unease that mirrors the story's dark themes. The narrative unfolds through a series of intense dialogues and flashbacks, keeping viewers on edge as the layers of the Venable family's secrets are gradually revealed. Suddenly, last summer left a lasting impact on popular culture by pushing the boundaries of what was acceptable in cinema at the time, challenging censorship norms, and sparking discussions about taboo subjects. It remains a powerful exploration of human psychology, and the lengths to which individuals and society will go to protect their secrets. In summary, Suddenly, Last Summer is a thought-provoking and controversial film adaptation of Tennessee Williams' play, featuring iconic characters and a unique style that delves into themes of trauma, sexuality, and societal hypocrisy, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of American cinema. In the 1959 movie Suddenly, Last Summer, there's an interesting fact about its creation. Although Tennessee Williams received screen credit, he had nothing to do with this movie other than having written the source stage play. The film's adaptation differed significantly from his original work, and Williams was not involved in the screenplay or production process. Another noteworthy detail revolves around Dame Elizabeth Taylor's performance in the role of Catherine Holly. During Catherine's climactic monologue, Taylor, who had recently been widowed, reportedly channeled her own emotions about her husband's death to create the acclaimed performance. However, she could only manage one take, as she couldn't stop crying after completing the first, adding a raw and genuine element to the scene. Interestingly, playwright Tennessee Williams was not a fan of this movie adaptation, and expressed his dissatisfaction with how his material was reworked. Despite his credit, his disapproval reflects the creative differences between the playwright 
and the filmmakers. Suddenly, Last Summer remains a notable film in 1959 for its unique behind-the-scenes dynamics and the emotional depth brought by Elizabeth Taylor's personal experiences into her character's portrayal. In 1959, the movie Suddenly, Last Summer made waves in Hollywood. Here's an intriguing fact about it, Patricia Neal, a leading actress at the time, had earned acclaim for her portrayal of the lead role on the London stage. She expected to reprise her role in the movie adaptation, confident that her reputation alone would secure the part. However, to her astonishment, Dame Elizabeth Taylor was assigned the role instead. This unexpected casting decision surprised both Neal and the industry, showcasing Taylor's rising star power. It marked a pivotal moment in the careers of both actresses and added to the intrigue surrounding Suddenly, Last Summer. In the 1959 movie Suddenly, Last Summer, two remarkable actresses, Dame Elizabeth Taylor and Katharine Hepburn, found themselves competing for the same Best Actress Academy Award. This unique situation set the film apart in Oscar history, as it's one of the rare instances where two leading ladies vied for the coveted accolade. However, when the envelopes were opened, it was Simone Sinorit who took home the prize, leaving Taylor and Hepburn empty-handed. Moreover, suddenly, Last Summer holds a distinct place in Oscar history as one of only five movies to receive two Academy Award nominations for Best Actress. In this case, Katharine Hepburn and Dame Elizabeth Taylor received these nominations. The other four films sharing this distinction include All About Eve, with Ann Baxter and Betty Davis nominated, The Turning Point, featuring Ann Bancroft and Shirley MacLaine. Terms of Endearment, where Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger received nominations, and Thelma and Louise, which saw Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon as nominees. Notably, among these actresses, Shirley MacLaine is the sole recipient of the Academy Award for Best Actress for her relevant performance. So, while suddenly, Last Summer may not have resulted in Oscar glory for Taylor, and Hepburn, its place in the annals of cinema history is secured as one of the select few films where two leading ladies competed for the industry's highest honor. In 1959, the movie Suddenly, Last Summer brought some interesting behind-the-scenes stories to light. One notable fact is that Malcolm Arnold was initially hired to compose the film's score. However, he found the material so disturbing that he withdrew from the project. This speaks to the unsettling nature of the movie's storyline. Another intriguing tidbit involves Montgomery Clift, who was dealing with years of alcoholism and prescription drug abuse. Due to his chronic ill health, he became uninsurable, a situation that would typically lead to an actor's replacement. However, Dame Elizabeth Taylor, his close friend, insisted that she would only do the movie if Clift remained in the cast. Her loyalty saved Clift's job. Additionally, Eddie Fisher, who was married to Elizabeth Taylor at the time of the movie's release, made an uncredited appearance as one of the street urchins who begged Taylor's character for food. It's a lesser known detail about the film, adding an interesting layer to its production. Suddenly, Last Summer not only delivered a compelling narrative, but also had its share of fascinating stories behind the scenes, making it a memorable part of cinema history. In 1959, the movie Suddenly, Last Summer brought some behind-the-scenes drama of its own. While it's known for its captivating story, one notable fact revolves around the casting process. Vivian Lee was initially offered the role of Violet Venable, but declined, leading to Katharine Hepburn's eventual casting. Additionally, a mysterious Latin inscription in the film adds an eerie touch. Inside a library at St. Mary's, the phrase CQVA Fadis in it is etched into the stone on the mantle, translating to if the fates allow. This enigmatic detail adds an intriguing layer to the movie's atmosphere. Moreover, author Garson Cannon, in his memoir Tracy and Hepburn, revealed an intense moment during filming. Katharine Hepburn, reportedly furious at how Montgomery Clift was treated by the producer and director, confronted them. She even went as far as spitting at one of them, though it remains unclear whether it was producer Sam Spiegel, director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, or both. These lesser-known facts shed light on the dynamics surrounding the making of Suddenly, last summer, offering a glimpse into the challenges and tensions faced during its production. In the 1959 movie Suddenly, Last Summer, directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, there's an interesting tidbit about its background. Director Mankiewicz later admitted that he found the source material to be poorly constructed and based on pop psychology. 
Despite this, the film managed to captivate audiences with its compelling storytelling. Dame Elizabeth Taylor, a top box office draw at the time, chose suddenly last summer as her first project after her contract with MGM ended. What's noteworthy is that she used her influence to insist on casting Montgomery Clift in a key role. This decision proved pivotal for the film, as Clift's performance added depth to the story. While not directly related to the movie's plot, these behind-the-scenes facts shed light on the dynamics that shaped suddenly last summer. It's a reminder that even when creators have reservations, the final product can still leave a lasting impact. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, I invite you to reflect upon the haunting allure of the 1959 film, suddenly last summer. Like the tendrils of ivy weaving their way up an ancient wall, this film creeps into the deepest recesses of your mind, leaving an indelible mark. With its enigmatic plot, masterful direction, and stellar cast, suddenly, Last Summer immerses us in a world where secrets unravel like a tightly wound spool of thread. Elizabeth Taylor's captivating performance as Catherine, her vulnerability juxtaposed with her fierce determination, lingers in our thoughts. Montgomery Clift's portrayal of the compassionate Dr. Kukrovich adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, making us question the fine line between sanity and madness. But beyond the performances and the plot twists lies the film's timeless exploration of human nature, desire, and the lengths one will go to protect their truth. It beckons us to ponder the depths of our own desires, the secrets we harbor, and the consequences of keeping them locked away. Now, I turn the spotlight to you, dear reader, viewer. What memories or thoughts has suddenly, last summer, stirred within you? Have you been entranced by its cinematic spell, or perhaps it ignited a dialogue within you about the hidden facets of human psychology? Share your reflections, for in the exchange of thoughts and ideas, we unveil new layers of understanding. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the enigmatic world of Suddenly, last summer. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep exploring the depths of storytelling and the human psyche. Warmly, 